One of the busiest shopping days of the year is just four days away. And while many of you get ready to spend, 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 financial planners say you need a plan before diving into the holiday spirit. It totally hit, hit us kind of you know, out of the blue. We did not expect it. There's just the sense of hopelessness because there isn't anything out there. Ken and Amy Dickinson both lost their jobs in September. Amy found a new job, but Ken is still unemployed. It's hard to wake up every morning without a job, without having money coming in for the family, and feel like I'm worth anything. The Dickinsons usually have a big Christmas with their two kids, but this year is different. Instead of going for the biggest, best, we're going for the most important and the most personal. Families aren't the only ones struggling this season. Mom and pop stores are also being careful. I think we're buying more uh, cautiously. If we're normally buying six at a time, we're buying three. Like most stores, on a whim tries to get customers to spend money by offering special discounts. We're trying to, you know, bump everybody up and give them a reason to purchase and give them a little incentive on top of it. Those savings? Sell Amy Dickinson. We always go out on the Friday after Thanksgiving and we'll buy anything that's on sale. It doesn't matter. But financial planner Victoria Wood says don't buy into promotions. The retailer's job is to overwhelm you and get you to, to buy those impulse purchases. Wood says, like Santa, you should make a list of gifts you're given. And there are alternatives to buying a gift for every person. Let's let everybody draw names and let's say, okay, we're only going to spend a limit of $50. <laughs> Other costs mount when the bells start jingling during the holidays, like travel, donations to charities, and more. Decorating. If you're going to decorate your house, everybody wants to decorate. Wood says one of the worst things you can do is start with no plan. Swiping, swiping, swiping. Now the retailers love you, but then you wake up in January with the biggest holiday hangover when you see that credit card bill. It's something Amy knows firsthand. You relate how much you spend to how much you love somebody and you just keep loving them until you get that credit card bill and you're like, oh, wow. <laughs> this year, Amy and Ken will try the holiday budget, not just for their pocketbook, but because they're learning what really matters to them. You look around at your life and you realize all these things that were important six months ago or 12 months ago really aren't that important. And you have to think about what you want in your life and it's amazing how little it actually takes. Even the smallest gifts go a long way. Victoria says gifts like special cards, baking a dessert, or even making coupons for a free back massage or doing the dishes can mean a lot, but not cost much. Back to you.